He hangs it very high, angling it for the near sideline. Hakeem drops the ball! Oh, oh. Hakeem drops the ball! Ryan Mills might have fallen in at the 10-yard line! There is a god after all! <laughs> So harking back with me, if you will, to the 2000 NFL season for the New Orleans Saints uh, and the two guys pictured here, Jeff Blake and Aaron Brooks, um, were the guys who were instrumental in leading the New Orleans Saints to a division title, to the playoffs, and also to the first playoff victory in franchise history. But underlying that fact, they also are the first two black quarterbacks in Saints franchise history. So did either of you have a sense of an extra amount of pressure being the first, so to speak? To me, I I, I didn't think about have, having that added pressure of being the first black quarterback to play in the middle of the Saints. I try not to think about that because I didn't want to have any other added stuff that was going on because I knew I needed to win football games and we needed to win football games as an organization and as a, as a group and we needed our offense to go out and produce. At the time, I didn't, I didn't I just wasn't aware that, you know, we were the first two black quarterbacks in the Saints history to ever play. It didn't come to later um, when I thought about that, but it was all about, you know, getting an opportunity and kicking off your career and, um, having that opportunity to be out there and with amongst your fellas and doing the best job that you can possibly uh, do at the time. So, you know, that stuff didn't come to later. When you think back, you're like, oh, wow. Yeah, but, um, we were the first two blacks and, and that's that's pretty astounding. Do you feel now like you were a trailblazer then? Do you get the, the do you grasp the magnitude of it now? I do more so now because people tell me, you know, People are like, dude, do you realize you were this? And did you realize you did this? And did you realize you did that? And then like, when, like Aaron, like AB said, you sit back and reflect, like, oh my God. You know, I do, I, I see it now. I didn't really, I didn't really think about those things when you were playing. There was a sense of, um, you know, uh, understanding that I had to really carry on a torch. You know, I had to carry on a torch for those who came before me. And, um, Although it didn't feel like added pressure because I was just trying to represent myself. I was trying to represent the team, the city, um, and all the kids that was watching us across America. And and uh, and it was just a an opportunity to be a part of something special. And 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 what I mean by special is is the fact that we were able to uh, um, make history make history because at one point we were denied this opportunity to play the position in itself and so um, you know looking back um, I feel proud of the accomplishment that we were able to accomplish and it started with Jeff and and it's um, it just makes it brings joy to me to know that you know I'm linked um, with, with Jeff being able to bring the city their first playoff win ever. You know, both of you guys will go go with AB first, but do you see any quarterbacks in the game now that kind of remind you of yourself? It's like a mix, right? It's like a Teddy Bridgewater, um, his ability to um, escape the pocket and sacrifice his body on a, on an any given down to uh, to get a first down or a touchdown. Um, I really like his pocket presence, um, as well as James Weston, who the Saints have. Um, uh, who's with the Saints um, right now. Um, the thing I like about uh, Jameis is that he he can be very gusty in some of his decision making. And so, um, you know, sometimes you gotta pull the trigger. <laughs> you gotta be able to pull that trigger without any hesitation. And uh, so those two guys mix, I really think they combine to make uh, an Aaron Brooks. <laughs> Jeff, any guys, are these guys nowadays remind you of you? Uh, Russ, Russell Wilson. You know, uh, kind of same build, you know, uh, throw the deep ball pretty good, uh, kind of calm in the pocket, you know, make make the the throws that he has to make, you know, um, just, you know, laid back quarterback, you know, uh, I kind of played that way. You know, I was a little bit more, you know, uh, I talked a little bit more trash on the field, though. Than Russ does, but <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I, I I think if I had to pick a quarterback, I think Russ would be that guy. Nowadays, still that that black quarterbacks 
still kind of face an extra challenge to prove themselves? Uh, or do you feel like they've kind of arrived, so to speak? I think there's always um, that that added pressure on, on a black quarterback. I think we looked at differently. I think we scrutinized differently. I, thought, I think we thought of differently. But, you know, I think all of that is changing. When you look at what Russell has been able to do, as Jeff has mentioned, um, you look at what Cam has been able to do. But, uh, but at the same time, it's almost like we have this asterisk <laughs> uh, beside our name because we're black. Like we, we got to be labeled as black. And I think uh, one of the things I mentioned earlier was about, you know, taking that label off. I mean, we're, we're quarterback just like the rest. I mean, let's take color out of it because the position we hold is quarterback. We don't hold a black quarterback position. I think there's some stinking air, as you want to say it, you know, uh, but is it changing? Yes. Uh, and the reason the game is evolving is because it's evolving at the high school level and the college level, which is starting to leak into the pros because you see the offense, the offense is changing in the pros from uh, in the standard West Coast offense to a more of an RPO style offense in the pro level, which never happened before. So now you're able to take um, that quarterback from college who runs that style offense, Kyler Murray or uh, any of those, um, Patrick Mahomes, a lot of these kids ran that type of offense in college and now they're able to still run that same type of offense in the pros. I would like to see a lot more uh, of us in that backup position as well. You know, and there's a lot of guys that stay in the league for 12, 15 years that's been backing up, never really played football. And that's okay, you know, but I think we should have some room for some some black quarterbacks to be able to do that as well. You know, you mentioned RPOs and offenses and stuff. I I, I truly believe that no matter what offense that we're, we're put in, we're going to thrive in. It, it's just yeah. a matter of the opportunities. And can you relate and give that same opportunity to us to be able to to be able to thrive in? Um, a lot of times we're, we're, you know, it's almost like they give up on us if we're not doing the things that they like for us to do as opposed to playing to our talent. You know, you can have a same quarter, a different quarterback in the same system, but it doesn't have to be catered to him to where it's, oh, because he can do this, he can do that. Well, let's make him run the ball all the time. You know, that, that's not necessarily um, ideal for us. I mean, we, we can do the same thing that, that many other quarterbacks can do. How much pride do both of you take in helping to kind of reshape the mold? I mean, you know, it was the six four, six five, six six pocket passer, and you know, along come guys like you two who are, you know, not only able to do that part of it, but also able to show off the mobility and the escapability to make something else extra happen. I mean, how, how, do you guys take a, a certain amount of pride in helping to reshape the mold? You know, like, again, I really didn't look at it that that, that way. Uh, I just felt like whatever talent I had, I was going to use it to the best of my ability. And if I had to run it, I ran it. And if I had to if I throw it, I was going to throw first. Trust me, I, was, I wanted to throw the ball first. I wanted to throw that touchdown. If I had to run it, I had to God give me talent to do that, you know. So um, it wasn't a run first, throw second for me. And it's always the total opposite. But uh, I feel like... I think if, as a player, if you have that skill set, I think you should use it to the best of your ability when that time comes. Maybe. Yeah, I'm a little taller than Jeff, but. <laughs> yeah, no, you're a lot taller than me, bro. <laughs> you're a lot taller than me. <laughs> um, you know, in college, you know, I, I feel like if I was, if I'm am to make it in, in on the next level in the NFL, uh, I have to prove and this was my mindset. I had to prove that I can play the game from the pocket. I was at the combine, combine. And the combine, uh, one of the coaches, a San Francisco coach, uh, Steve Mary, to be exact, he, was, he caught me in the elevator. He was like, you know, you're not gonna be able to run in the NFL, right? So I was like, oh, okay. You know, the sad thing is that I was a big 49ers fan growing up. And so when we had the chance to play the 49ers, <laughs> I ran for 100 yards. My own yeah. 100 yard game <laughs> there was. But, you know, other than that, it was more so one of those situations that we talked about earlier, having to prove yourself. And that was the thing, because of my height, I felt like I had to prove myself that I could play the game from the pocket. But I still had the mobility to escape the pocket and make some things happen. But 
you know, my true thing was just playing the game from the pocket. So um, that that was, you know, that was pretty interesting now that I look back that it doesn't really stand true today because the guys are much smaller, shorter than I am. And they're, they're doing exact, the exact thing that we just finished talking about with the mobility, getting out of the pocket, making things happen, putting the team on their back and um, getting some wins out there. All right, well, I'll tell you what, the Saints uh, certainly benefited from the presence of both of you guys, especially during that 2000 season, as we mentioned, um, the Saints first playoff win uh, collaboration between these two quarterbacks, Jeff Blake and Aaron Brooks, who lead the team division championship and the first playoff win in franchise history. And um, we very much appreciate you guys for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you for having me.